if you're wondering why I'm wearing a shirt, it's because it was part of an outfit I was wearing earlier. Um, but no, it's on the floor. Look, you can see it's, I've just thrown it on the floor and left it. So, sorry about that. Also, do you know what's so annoying? After I came in... I came in from a flat party last night, um, absolutely steaming, I drank a hell of a lot of whiskey, and I recorded a drunk video of me talking about um, Wonder Wheel, the film Wonder Wheel, and it was, very, it was a very drunk, amusing video, but apparently, drunk me forgot to plug in my headset, we're here to see that, so you couldn't hear a bloody thing I was saying, which is depressing, fucking hate wearing these. I can't hear myself talk, it just, it's really weird, you just have to, you have to figure something out, because this, this isn't really ideal, is it? Um, right, what was I going to talk about in this vid? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just going to talk about my idiotic relationship with fucking working out, because I've gone through a phase this year of spending loads of time working out, and getting to a really good point where I'm really happy with myself, and get loads of confidence, and then I just stop. And then just let myself get like shit again. And then I'll be like, why have I done this? And I'll start again. Get to a point where I'm really happy with myself. Love my figure. And then stop again. And currently, I've done this a few times this year. It's really annoying. It's like a constant cycle. And currently at the minute, I am like trying to work out and desperately try and uh, regain my old figure. Because honestly, it's driving me insane. Looking at old photos from the summer. I put a hell of a lot of muscle on over the summer. My shoulders were huge. And uh, it's really depressing now because they're just not. <laughs> they're literally just this. Also, dieting as well. <sighs> Such a nightmare, honestly. Usually when I'm trying to lose weight, my stomach becomes the size of a fucking barrel. And it doesn't matter how much I eat in a day, I'll still go to bed hungry. And I'm like, what's going on? And it's annoying because you have to get out of that habit if you actually want to lose weight. Which is what I'm trying to do at the minute. Well... I'm not trying to lose weight as such, I want to put muscle on first, and usually what you're supposed to do is lose all the fat first and then uh, put the muscle on, but the thing is, I just don't have time to do shit like that, it just doesn't, just doesn't fix with me, so I'll just do whatever I want, which usually never ends well anyway. So now, this time, what am I doing? Uh, well, over the summer, I was doing a routine of like five or six different things, so I would do squats like pull push up to, i'd like had the bar pushed up and it was like the bar was down and i was pulling it up like this to build my back and then i did these whatever it's called don't know what the fuck you call them i don't know anything about exercise crunches so like do you just build your abs here that you just activate your arms and reverse crunches i think where you like bring your legs up and then 10 push up oh well just push ups and that's like five six different things and I do do them over and over and over again until I literally die. Usually it's about 20 times I'll do that over and over again. And that's what I was doing over the summer. And that's how I got, well, um, which is so annoying. I wish. Why that fucking... As soon as I got to uni, when I got to uni, I was like, I was so happy with myself. I was like, yes, this is sick. And it, I looked sick. And I just stopped working out when I got to uni. I didn't even take my weights with me. The thing is, it's not just about how you look. It's also how, about how you feel. And if you're sat there and you can like feel your fat and it, like feel it and you just know that you look different, it's really depressing. And it's just, it's good for morale working out and getting to a point where you're actually pleased with how you look. It's a lot more, for me, mental than physical. Um, but the physical is good as well because it's nice to look nice. But yeah, if you do struggle with your mental health a little bit, uh, I would recommend working out. And it's, I know it's one of those things where you're literally sat there like, no, there's no fucking way. Like, it does really help. Literally, uh, running something really good. I mean, I couldn't personally get into running, but I did feel the effects of how good it was. Because I remember when I first started it, I did, like, a, a first run and then a second run. I did, like, one a day. It was during lockdown. I did one a day. I gave up after, like, the fourth day because I couldn't be asked. But after the third day, I did feel really, really good about myself. You just feel better. Knowing you can, like, breathe nicely it's just it's good and it makes you feel really good um so yeah anyway gonna let you go this vid's been very long but yeah nice little rant there if you have any suggestions i've said this before but if you have any suggestions on what 
videos I should make. Give it a shout. Just put them in the comments. Yeah. Season a bit.